Summer Classic, sponsored by your San Diego County Toyota dealers. The 92nd Major League Baseball All-Star Game comes to Fox 5 tonight. We're checking in now with Julian Delgadio up in L.A. ahead of the Midsummer Classic. Julian, hi. Hey, Raul. Great to see you. How about that uh, home run derby last night? I love that home run derby. I was watching it with my son. We had a bet going. You know who I picked? Juan uh, Soto. Juan Soto. You know who my son oh, picked? Future Albert. Padre. My, my, <laughs> future Padre. My son picked Albert Pujols. I'm like, bro, you picked the old man. Good for you. You know what? I wish Pujols won that tournament yeah. because he was really the star of the show going into the Derby. And uh, even afterwards, there were players saying that he had the best hug in Major League Baseball. Some people were trying to get that hug on the field. Uh, Albert looked at a couple people kind of weird. So uh, I didn't ask for a hug personally, but, you know, it's great to see a guy like that future Hall of Famer get recognized on, uh, you know, baseball's biggest stage at this point of his career. And, uh, and I think, you know, the All-Star Game is really for that. You look at what the National League's doing, starting Clayton Kershaw and, you uh, you know, it's the 13th time in Major League Baseball history that Clayton, the home pitcher, gets to pitch in his home ballpark to start a, uh, an All-Star game. So that's just what these things are all about, right? Let's let, you know what, I, and he's earned it. That guy's a machine. I mean, when you come into an All-Star game and you almost throw a perfect game a couple days ago, you're the man. You got to admit it. Whether you hate the Dodgers or not, it doesn't matter. That guy is something special. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we, let's talk about the Padres. People, people care way more about the Padres. <laughs> These Dodgers, you know, they'll be here. They might choke it uh, at some point in October. But three Padres making the Midsummer Classic. Uh, May Machado, it's the sixth time he's been an All-Star. Second time he's been a Padre. Or second time he's done it as a Padre. Um, and then May Joe Musgrove. Like, let's talk about that guy, you know. Well-deserved. He said he was a little upset that he didn't make it last year, but it was a way more competitive uh, National League pitching bullpen this year. I mean, he's proved it. 14 quality starts in 15 outings. It's, you know, top numbers in all of Major League Baseball. And this guy's got the juice. The Padres need to pay him, though, Raul. What, why haven't they paid him yet? I think they will. I think the negotiations I heard are already underway. And if it doesn't happen this year, then he may want to wait. Uh, I don't know. But I think maybe this week is the week where we see that happen. Potentially. They actually uh, asked him that yesterday. And Joe said there's, uh, you know, both sides are doing well. He wants to stay in San Diego. He's also keeping an open mind just in case something falls through, but they have to land him. I mean, this guy's got to retire as a Padre. First no-hitter in franchise history. He's from San Diego. He said, you know, when he used to talk to his dad, he always wanted to go to a, a team, win a World Series, and then end up in San Diego, and that's really the trajectory he's had. He won that one with uh, the Astros, even though it, uh, you know, might have not been uh, the most legitimate World Series, hmm. but, uh, but maybe he'll win another one with San Diego. Talk about Juan Soto because, uh, again, he won the uh, home run derby last night. That was my pick, and I was tweeting all over the place about it, calling him future Padre, future Padre. But we were talking with Heath Bell earlier this morning about, let's say, uh, first of all, I'm surprised. I, I thought Yankees, Red Sox, Dodgers, your usual suspects to get a big guy like that. Padres are seriously in discussions with uh, maybe to get Juan Soto. You're talking half a billion dollar contract is what he wants. What do the Padres have to give up, though, man, to get somebody of this caliber? You know, it's interesting because you think about Will Myers' expiring contract. He's an outfielder. He's, uh, he's, you know, he's even said he doesn't think he's going to be in San Diego next year. You look at a guy like Eric Hosmer, the amount of money that uh, the Padres are paying him. He's had good points of the season. He's had bad points of the season. It's really a double-edged sword. But I think that a trade really comes down to prospects and young prospects. And whether that's a Mackenzie Gore that ends up there, a C.J. Abrams, potentially future draft picks. You know, the Padres can dig really deep, but they're going to have to give up some key pieces. And Preller's done crazier things. I think uh, I have flashbacks last year when Max Scherzer was heavily rumored to land on the Padres, and out of nowhere yeah. the Dodgers came up and uh, and swooped them. But, you know, I think the Padres have a legitimate chance. Soto even said yesterday in the pregame press conference, he's like, I love San Diego, I love Manny Machado, and I, really? uh, I can – See myself there, so yes. you know there's a li little bit of uh, courting going on as well uh -huh. in these All Star games, but uh, who knows? Who knows listen, how this will play out? Listen, I can see Juan Soto here too. Don't touch Tatis. Don't touch Manny Machado. Leave Joe Musgrove alone. Leave our basic core team there. Don't don't even touch Jake uh, the Rake. Leave him alone. <laughs> uh, should I go on? Who who do we give him? I don't know. I'm gonna throw in uh, Julian you know, Delgado for like Juan Soto. I'm kidding. 
<laughs> you know what? I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that. Because <laughs> Soto on the Padres makes them, I mean, that's what, four all-stars right there that you yeah. think about. Just yeah. have all the pieces. The outfield is what they really need. They also need bullpen help. So it's like, do you true. get rid of that's a guy true. like Mackenzie Gore, who's been great starting. He's come out of the pen a couple of times. Like, it's tough. It's tough. I love talking baseball, though. We can talk to the cows come home about this. That's very true. Uh, I can't wait to see what develops and what happens with all the trades coming up in the next couple of weeks. But for now, let's focus on having a good All-Star game. You enjoy it. Looking forward to the reports tonight and tomorrow morning. Julian Delgado, live from L.A. Thanks, dude.